North Korea's putting its own pressure on the US with what looks like a clear negotiation tactic. Essentially, Pyongyang is warning Washington not to use ending the Korean War as some sort of bargaining chip for North Korea now. Starting with the North's actual message, which was a state-run Korean central news agency commentary released today. If the US doesn't want the end of war, it states, the DPRK, as North Korea refers to itself, will also not particularly hope for it. And what that really is, is a response to the expectation that the North will move forward with denuclearization if the US agrees to formally end the Korean War. In fact, the commentary goes on to be quite candid, accusing experts in the US of spouting rubbish by suggesting that North Korea might dismantle nuclear and missile facilities in return for a war-end declaration. Rather, it emphasizes that ending hostilities is in the interests of all sides. Perhaps then Pyongyang is looking for higher ground in planned negotiations with the US next month and is seeking something beyond a statement from Washington even if the US has been reluctant even to go that far. And as North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho has now left New York after attending the UN General Assembly and meeting his US counterpart Mike Pompeo, the message he left behind was the importance of trust. Which means, despite its own maximum pressure policy, the US has to find a way of convincing the North this isn't only about disarming Pyongyang of its most potent weapons without offering a security guarantee, at least if Washington wants to get anywhere through dialogue.